Now that I've created my 3D sketch for my little lawn trailer, I want to add the structural tubing. And when I do that, I'm going to keep several things in mind. The sketch was created for the outside overall dimensions, so I want to make sure the tube gets added to the inside of these sketch lines. And if I use groups, SolidWorks will auto trim the components for me. So to add my structural steel tubing, from the weldments ribbon, I'm going to select structural member. So I'll set my standard, the tube, and for this I'm going to use 60 by 60 by 4 mil wall tubing. So again, as we did earlier, first you select the sketch line you want the tubing on. It's going to automatically put it on the center of the sketch, and then I'm going to come down to the locate profile. And to keep the outside of the pipe on this edge, I'll come and choose this corner. I'll fit the screen again, and then we have that pipe on the inside. Next, I'll add another group, and I'll add pipe to these two. Once again, I want to locate the profile, so I'm going to scroll down, select Locate Profile, and this time I'll put these on center. I'll fit the screen, and we can see how they're auto-trimmed to here. And I'm going to keep adding groups and adding members, so I'll select this next. I'll scroll down, select Locate Profile. This time I want this corner here. I'll fit the screen, and again, that will be it for that group. So I'll add another group. I'll select this sketch entity. Scroll down, select Locate Profile. Locate it here. Fit the screen. And I'm going to continue this process. This time I'll select this as my new group. So I'll come back here and select New Group. Select this entity. Scroll down, locate the profile. I'm going to keep repeating this procedure and I'm going to fit the screen. And then I come to a realization when I did this group and this group, I could have also added the pipe down here. So if I go back and I select this group, I can see oh, that was my first group. I'm now working in it. I can come down here and click and I can add this path segment and the profile will be located in the same way. And then I can select group two. Three. So now, once again, I want to add to group three. I'm going to click here, select this, and I'll add to that group. I'm going to continue creating groups. So I'll make a pipe here. Scroll down. I'll locate the profile. I'll work from the top center point. Fit the screen. And then when I add these, so once again, I need to say a new group. I'll select this pipe. And this time when I locate the profile, I want this top corner here on the outside so the pipe gets cut along this edge. So I'll come over here to the profile, select this corner, and I can see how the pipe will now be cut. Again, I'm going to add a group, select this, scroll down, locate the profile. Once again, I want that corner. If I scroll out, I can see how it fits. So a couple more times, I want to group here. I need to locate the profile based on how I would like the pipe cut. So I'm going to locate the profile. It's going to zoom in here. And I'll select this corner, so I'll need to rotate around. I'll select that corner and have a look. It lines up with the end of the pipe. That's good. I'm just going to go back to isometric. And that's how I would finish creating the rest of the profiles for this sketch.